picking up where Stocky left off in the last episode. He saw out the rest of day 37 doing a bit of gardening, planting and watering some more potato seeds. And then a little bit of furniture rearrangement, just moving some of the cabinets in from the storeroom into the little outside kitchen area, including a sink. Having two sinks next to each other like this just expands the area on the roof where we can place the water barrels. So it just means we can have a couple more. And then after a bit more work in the little storage area, he went to bed. Day 38 was gonna be all about raiding the housing estate just south of the golf course because food supplies were getting very low. Trapping and fishing has been an unmitigated disaster so far. So we'll be back on the canned goods for a little while, but not before we re-clear this area that we've already cleared out a few days prior. Who knows where these zombies came from? So after clearing the zombies at the entrance to the little gated community here, we just checked a few kitchens, just loading up on as much as we could hold, and then we're not gonna have to refrigerate. Now whilst this little blue card did get us in and out of Riverside last episode, it turned out not to be the most reliable vehicle in the world. So on the way back to base, Stocky just stopped off at the car park again to go and transfer the fuel from Bluey into Big Bluey, which is this other van that we found the key for in the car park. And we're just gonna have to bite the bullet on how loud this is gonna be compared to the other blue car. And then back at base after a little bit more inventory organization, it was off the bed to recharge for a quite frustrating day tomorrow. Stocky's goal for day 39 should not have been an all day job, but it turned out that way. Basically because he doesn't read things properly. Because having three parts out of four of a big bed back at home, he headed over to find the missing part at the houses, but didn't realize they're all different types. So back he went deconstructed a bunch more beds took them back to base and then came all the way back again because he realized instead of putting them in the back of the van he dropped them on the floor so finally as the evening drew to a close Stocky managed to get a nice big comfy bed down just in between the pool tables up on the top level of the country club Day 40 is the big one. We're heading back to Riverside to see if we can find that generator magazine. Or so we thought, because just after we left the compound, the van totally conked out. So it was a long walk back to base. Unfortunately, a false start for today. We'd have to go again tomorrow. And so the only thing Stocky really achieved today was catching a couple of fish and then cooking them by the fire. All right, this is it, day 41. Stocky actually made it to Riverside. The plan of action for today was gonna to be to sneak into the school via the back entrance through the houses, rather than going in through the front door, which is gonna be way more busy in terms of zombies out in the street. So let's see how that goes. Being an outdoors man, I think this horrible rain actually gives Stocky the advantage because he's not affected by the weather, but there is a chance that it's gonna make the zombies have a harder time spotting him. Until Stocky wants them to, that is of course. Okay, the school building is in sight. We're getting closer. Let's just cross our fingers and hope that what we want is actually gonna be here. Who knows why a school would actually have a generator instruction manual in their library, but it's the closest thing we've got to a chance. OK, 
Okay, into the library we go. A couple of zombies in here to sort out. And then we should have the freedom of the bookshelves. And there we go, how to use generators. This really is a turning point for Stocky because it's gonna allow him to keep food refrigerated and frozen, which is gonna be important through the winter months when there's very little to grow and to catch. And we've even done it with a little bit of time left this afternoon. So after chilling out in the van to read the generator magazine for a little while, Stocky headed over to the gas station because without being overly presumptive, he did bring the generator along in the back of the van, just in case the best case scenario happened. And it has. So, let's see how much it might take to clear out this gas station and get the generator connected so that we can get these pumps going. Well, it's not a good sign that Stocky's already quite tired just from a long day. have to do this as carefully and methodically as we can. The stock is even starting to get a bit gassed now as well as tired. This is not good, but they're nearly done. Okay, that was a pretty big effort. It definitely calls for a quick rest in the van. Okay, clear. Let's grab the Jenny. Stick it down here, get it connected. Get a little bit of gas in there and we're gonna to have to take a big risk right now and see if we can survive the night sleeping in the van hopefully we've done a good enough job of clearing the place out day 42 we're alive we survived the night in the van so let's bring it over to the gas pumps get this shit turned on and fill up We only have one red gas can to fill up at the moment because we left the others in the black van that broke down. So after we kill a few zombies here, we might have to go and have a look and see what else we can find to fill up with gas and take home. And look at that, wouldn't you believe it? Just like fucking buses, two come along at once. Okay, that's quite a lot of zombies protecting relatively few cars, but we have got time. Nothing in that car. Oh, one empty gas can in this one. But this was all very exhausting for Stocky, so he went and filled that gas can up and then headed home. 
there's definitely unfinished business back at the gas station in Riverside. So Stocky spent most of day 43 just laying around reading books, cooking food, eating, and just resting and recovering, ready for another big day tomorrow. He did a few more chores, a bit more organizing. Went to check on his potatoes, which are coming along very nicely. They should be ready to harvest pretty soon. And then he tucked in for a very early one with a good book at 4.30 p.m. Good on you, Stocky. Here we go, day 44. Back at Riverside. We'll get this generator connected again. And then we'll see if we can fill up those gas cans that we brought with us this time. But not before clearing out the warehouse car park that we started on a couple of days ago to see if we can find any more gas cans. Absolutely relentless. And again, by mid-morning, Stocky was knackered, so he had a little sit-down. Okay, back at it. But no gas can here. Nor here. But, good news, we did find one empty gas can in this white van. Now let's see if we can get in the warehouse for an extra bonus. This really is exhausting work. And do you know what? Let's err on the side of safety and come back for the warehouse another day. Let's just complete our main objective for today and get that gas. Although saying that, it does look pretty clear around this auto shop. Should we see if we can get in there? clear. Fuck. Well, if we weren't going to stay around for the warehouse, I'd be fucked if I'm dealing with an alarm in a place I didn't really want to go anyway. Although, let's just have a look how many zombies are actually making their way up there. Does, yeah, I don't know. Does look like a few. How close can we get without being overwhelmed? Nah, fuck it. Let's not distract them from their path. At least if we know they're all going up there, then we know they're there. So let's just deal with them later. Here we are, back at base. Time to get this generator connected to the house. Turn it on. And hey presto, we have power. Now here's something cool that I didn't mention at the time, but we did pick up a popsicle freezer from the garage. So let's just pop that down on the floor and now we have extra freezer storage. And so, day 45, the cycle repeats. We're back on construction. 
first we're going to be chopping down a fuckload of trees then we're going to bring them up here and build a wall Day 46, much of the same, but with a little bit of fishing sprinkled in in between. Now, even though we were pretty close, it was getting to be a bit of a pain in the ass going back and forth between the cupboard where I stored all my fishing shit. So we put a box from the storage room over here right next to the pond. And that just saves us a few footsteps. But with that said, it wasn't long until we're back on the lumber. interspersed with short rests on this lovely wooden bench. Day 47, Stocky treated himself to a lovely fish breakfast. Which put him right in the mood for a bit more fishing. What he was getting pretty sick of by now was chopping fucking trees. So having had enough of that, Stocky went home, cooked some fish and then chucked them in the freezer. Now with all the log walls that Stocky's been building over the past few days, he's run out of rags that tie them all together. So, we did remember seeing a big bunch of zombies down here on the main road on the way back from Riverside a couple of days ago, so off he went to go and kill as many of them as he can and steal their clothes. Yeah, this is actually quite a lot. Okay, let's bring it. Fucking hell. I don't know if this is going to happen. Okay, time for a quick bite to eat. This is too much. We're just going to have to make a run for the van and hope it can fucking start. Come on. Yes. Have some of that. We're not doing the van any favours, but it is better than the alternative, which is returning from here with absolutely nothing for our effort. Having slain the last zombie, Stocky went around grabbing all the clothes and tearing them up into rags so that he could get back to base and use those rags to tie some more walls together. How secure these walls are going to be, knowing that they're made from deteriorated old bits of zombie rag, I do not know, but it's got to be better than nothing, right? So after a quick check around the back in the car park here, which Stocky realised he hasn't actually had a look at for a few days, 
just to make sure that it was still clear. He went back, did a bit of fishing to see if he could get himself any supper. And then having just placed this thing, Stocky realised that it's actually using up gas in the generator a bit unnecessarily because we haven't got the food that's going to require that much freezer space for now. So he took it apart, confirmed that it was no longer drawing power and then he realised at some point in the past day or two, Stocky had actually crossed the 1000 zombies killed milestone. So rather satisfied with himself, he went to bed.